Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Tsukihime. When last we left off, we took care of Sachin, and she will be appearing in this route no more. As unfortunate as that is. But, 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 it's time for other things. It's time to, um... I believe this episode we should probably be getting close to getting ready to party. And I forgot to look up the lyrics to that song by Andrew, whatever. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? After I eat lunch, Akia and Hisui are still in the sitting room. It wouldn't be good to ignore them and go back to my room, so I sit on the sofa across from Akia. Here, Shiki-san. You prefer green tea, right? Kahaku-san places an after-meal cube cup of tea on the table beside me. Yeah, thanks. If you don't mind, then... No, not at all. This is your home, so please relax a little more. Kahaku-san must try be trying to make me feel more comfortable here because she's taking good care of me. Jeez. I'm thinking I'm already used to this place. Do I still look a little strained? Yes, just a little bit. Your shoulders seem a little tense. I wouldn't say you look like back. Uh, you should be like back then, but you certainly can relax a little more. Kahaku, you shouldn't spoil Nissan. He's been living like a sloth at the arena's house so long. It's probably good for him to be a little tense just at first. There's a helicopter outside. <laughs> Haki-sama, you are really strict with Shiki-sama, are you not? I don't want to be strict. It's just that he is always so spaced out. I have to watch out for him. Huh? I'm a little surprised. When Akia talks to Kahaku-san, there isn't any hint of her usual coldness. Maybe it's because they're so close in age, but they seem to be really good friends. I glance over at Hisui. Since Akia dismissed all of the other servants except for Hisui and Kohaku-san, I think Hisui must be treated by Akia as well, or trusted by Akia as well. But, since Kohaku-san is her complete opposite in personality, I have a feeling that there isn't much talk between Hisui and Akia. May I be of service, Shiki-sama? Hisui realizes I was looking at her and asks me if there is anything else she can do. No, it's nothing. I was just thinking that you were really calm. Yes, it is something that Maki Hisu-sama talked to me. She answers very distantly. The answer is so distant that I can't continue the conversation. Or distinct, the An uncomfortable silence ensues. And apparently I have uh, lost my ability to read, or maybe I'm just tired or something, I don't know. As if sensing this, Kahaku starts up a conversation. Shiki-san, is it okay if I ask you a question? Uh, uh, yeah. What is it? It seems like you left last night again, so I was wondering if you had some usual scheduled routine to take care of every night. Uh, no, I don't have anything like that. The past two days were just something special. I look over at Hisui. She just quietly watches the two of us. It's alright, Kahaku-san. I won't go out late at night anymore. Besides, I'm not a kid anymore, so it's not like there's any real danger or anything. Oh? Are you still saying that sort of thing, Shiki-san? He's switch hand, don't you feel the same way? It is as Nesan says. Shiki-sama, you are the eldest son of the Tono family, so please refrain from doing anything careless. Man, trying really hard not to sneeze. See, even Hisui-chan is angry. You are anemic, so you shouldn't strain yourself, you know? 
I was told this by your personal physician too, Shiki-san. Well, that's true, but it has nothing to do with going out at night. If I can't walk by myself, I shouldn't go to school either, right? It does have something to do with it. During the day, it is bright outside and someone can help you, right? But at night, it's different. There's been all these vampire murders recently, so if you go outside and collapse, what would you think will happen? Uh, without thinking, my body shudders. Just hearing someone else use the word vampire like this really reminds me that it was Yumizuka killing those people. No. It's okay, Kaku-san. There isn't a vampire out there anymore. Those incidents, they won't ever be happening again. Because Yumizuka Satsuki is no longer in this world. Oh, is that true, Maki-sama? But wrong voice. I haven't heard anything about it. I wouldn't ask his Nissan since he seems to know something about it. Oh yeah, there was this there was a victim from your school, Nissan. Year two, class three is your class, right? Eh? There was a victim from my class. Ah, uh, Shikisan, you didn't see the news this morning? Last night they found a large quantity of blood from someone named Yumizuka Satsuki in an alley off the main street. I'm actually not sure whose voice this is. This, Actually, I think this might be Akia, but I'm not sure if this is her or I'm going to guess Akia, actually. The blood seems to have been there for a while, but the amount of blood there, they say, she is, she is more than likely dead. My heart starts to throb violently. The fact that Yumizuka Satsuki is dead, I know that better than anyone else. But... When they say she's dead, it sounds like you killed her, didn't you, to me? Nissan? What's wrong? You really pale? No, it's nothing. My mood starts to sink. Thanks to Hisui, my heart was able to be calm, but with just this conversation, it almost collapsed. Is my heart really this weak? Everyone, let's have a welcoming party tonight. And just like that, Kohaku-san makes an announcement in a loud voice. Huh? Akia and I say the same thing aloud and even Hisui tilts her head. A welcoming party for Shiki-san! Everyone is here and we don't even and we haven't even celebrated Shiki-san's arrival yet. So tonight should be Shiki-san's welcome party. Right? Kahaku-san looks at me and smiles. Crap. Why are Hisui and Kahaku san so able to read my feelings? Akiya-sama, is that acceptable? If you allow it, we can start the preparations right away. I'm actually checking something for a moment, okay. Yes, Nissan has finally come back and we haven't even done anything. I think it's a good idea, but he's sweet. You agree, right? Uh, yes. If it is acceptable to Shiki-sama, I do not think it will be a bad thing. The three of them turn to stare at me. I... Hmm. Uh, I mean, of course we're gonna party, but uh... Just to check... What happens if you don't... Interesting. It, um... Yeah, it takes you to... It actually continues onto the route and you just don't get any regard. I, uh... I actually thought it gave you a flag, but apparently it doesn't. Oh, that's because, uh... In the main route, in Akiya's route, if you don't party, you get a flag. 
I, okay. That's an option. <laughs> but, um, I mean, of course we're gonna party. I mean, what is this? It's... <laughs> I don't remember the lyrics to the Andrew WK song, so I can't actually say that like I was going to. And, like I did last time. But, I mean, of course I agree. Of course we do. What are we, some kind of, uh, some kind of fool? Yes. Yes, we are. Uh, sure, skip. Interestingly, only one of these options gives points, and it's to help Hisui. Helping Kohaku does not do anything other than give us a scene, as far as I know, anyway. Um, although, ah, uh, the fact that it doesn't give us any points for Kohaku is, or uh, points for Hisui is also a thing. So, you know, no points is sometimes important in this, funnily enough. Um, we're gonna help Hisui, this is her round after all. Kohaku-san has a lot to do, but I'm sure Hisui is much busier. I should try and pay Hisui back for everything she's done, so I'll go help her. I head out to the lobby and run into Hisui right away. She must be tidying things up because there's a cloth and a feather duster at her feet. Hisui, can I have a minute? Shikisama, did you not return to your room? No, I won't. You and Kahaku-san seem so busy, I feel bad just lounging around and doing nothing. Hisui just looks at me silently. Shikisama, I do not believe this is the case, but are you asking me if you could help me with my duties? Uh, she struck first. What do you mean? Isn't it alright? Cleaning this huge mansion by yourself is hard, so let me help just a little bit, please? You say that, but there is not much that I require assistance. Actually, I can say that Nissan, Nissan is not here, I have an easier time. Huh? Cleaning is easier when Kohaku-san isn't here? Uh, no, well, I mean th that... Did she accidentally let something slip out? She looks down as she stammers for an excuse. It's something I don't see every day, so I smile at her. Um, Shikisama? What I said just now? Nissan, um... Flustered, she tries to tell me not to tell Kohaku-san. Uh, oh, so what you said right now can't be told to Kohaku-san? I see, I got it. I have to tell Kohaku-san about it. Shikisama, um, I think you should try not to show what you're thinking. Hmm? I'm not really thinking anything at all. Yep, that's, that's an understatement. Hisui just looks at me. Perhaps what she said, what she said just now might be more of a taboo for Kohaku-san than I thought it was. I understand. I won't tell her, so please stop looking at me like that. I remember now. Even long ago, you would always do pranks and tease others for no reason. Are you perchance planning on doing something devious like you did back then, Shikisama? No, not really. I just wanted to see how your face looked if you were a little distressed, that's all. Crap. Why do I blurt out the truth like that? It's actually surprisingly one of your endearing qualities, I say as my my wrist pops. Shikisama. You still have duties to, remaining duties to finish, so if you have free time, please go help me, son. As you say, I am very busy so I cannot keep you company. Hisui turns away and starts to clean the flower vases. It seems that even though I wanted to help, I made her angry. Um, Hisui? Yes, what is it? But Hisui still responds courteously, so I think she's really nice. 
about before. Uh, if you don't want to answer, you don't have to. Well, Kahaku-san is always sweeping in the courtyard, and she doesn't really clean the house that often. Does it have to do have anything to do with what you said earlier? Uh, yes, it is related somewhat. Please do not tell Nissan. She, she is rather self-conscious of her lack of ability. Lack of ability? Kahaku-san doesn't lack an ability. She's a wonderful cook and knows so much about medicine, right? That is, um, everyone has things suited, not soothing suited and not suited for them. Nissan really seems to enjoy herself when cleaning, but she is too rambunctious and is very dangerous when she tries to do cleaning and maintenance in the mansion. Dangerous, Hisui? Putting it that way is... That doesn't seem to fit Hisui either. Shiki-sama, you do not understand, so it is easy for you to say that. Nesan has tried to excuse that breaking of several items all in the name of cleaning, not, not just 10 or 20 times. If she becomes serious, her cleaning becomes more like a whirlwind. She has that sort of talent. As she speaks, I can almost see a fiery aura from around Hisui. It seems that she has been the victim of Kohaku-san's cleaning many times. I see. I'm quite surprised. Yes, Nesan knows about it too. After Akia, Asama, and I discussed it, we told her it was for the better for her to work outside in the garden or do other non-cleaning chores. She was very down and disheartened back then. Well, if she did break things and was told not to clean, I guess she would be a little disappointed. Um, I still can't quite picture that happy Kohaku-san looking down. So, please do not discuss cleaning indoors with Kohaku-san, Shiki-sama. If Nesan doesn't do that, then she is really fine. Yes? Did you call me? Hisui and I both freeze. Speak of the devil, Kohaku-san walks in from the kitchen. Nissan, is there something you need? Yes, I needed another hand, so I thought maybe Shiki-san could come help me. Smiling, Kohaku-san faces me. But it seems I was too late. Shiki-san, please continue helping Hisui-chan. Shiki-sama does not really help is not really helping me at the moment. Hisui responds very matter-of-factly. Well, that's how it is. Ah, is that so? Then Shiki-san, are you free? That's right. If you need a, another hand, I'll lend you one. But I'm not sure if I'd be of any help. I don't ever cook or anything. Which is uh, very different from me, your friendly neighborhood uh, narrator, who quite likes cooking and cooks quite frequently. Not at all. It is something anyone can do. Come on, please lend me a hand. Kahaku-san takes my hand and pulls me with her. Hisui wants... Hisui watches it all silently. For some reason, when my throat is dry, my voice tends to crack. And that's how you can tell that I'm, uh, that I'm not drinking anything while I'm recording, is because my voice keeps cracking. Not sure why, uh, not sure why my voice does that. Like, um, the more hydrated I am and the more relaxed I am, the deeper I speak. Like, the voice I narrate with is if I'm not really thinking and I'm just kind of splurging out words and my more natural thinking, speaking voice like this is if I'm thinking and actually trying to have any sort of consciousness 
better input mentally than what I'm speaking other than just blurting out the first words that come into my head like I do if I'm reading. I mean, I can put on voices of any kind that I am able to do, and, you know, this is sort of how it is. I'm rambling about nothing important. Um, well, actually, that's not true. I'm rambling and trying to decide if I want to keep going, but I think I will. I, I think I know... Uh, yeah, I think I'll keep going for now. I say that, and then, you know, this is a 10 fucking minute scene, and, you know, it's a 45 minute episode unintentionally. <laughs> oh well. It'll, it is what it is, it'll be what it'll be, blah, 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 excuse, excuse, excuse. And it'll be longer if I don't stop rambling, so I will stop now. For now. The kitchen is smaller than I expected. They probably had a much bigger galley when there used to be many people living in the mansion, but with just Akia, Hisui, Kahakusan, and I, they had the smaller kitchen prepared. Here. Please wash your hands and use this apron. You know, funnily, I do cook a lot. I don't actually own an apron. <laughs> I'll probably eventually have one, uh, I claim. But, you know, I don't at the moment. I usually just have a towel in my, uh, hanging out of my pocket or on my belt. I don't know whose taste this is a reflection of, but she hands me an apron that says, Quiet, unsociable person on it. <laughs> I should, uh... I would not mind having an apron that says that. I'll start you off with the simple task, Chiki san When it's all done, I have another task just for you. Kahaku-san is in a good mood. First, I have to take the shells off of all of these shrimp. Wick, wick, wick. Never done that before. I never, uh, never had, I've never prepared have I ever cooked shrimp? Yeah, I've cooked shrimp before, but not often. It's usually already uh, deveined because where I live, it's not exactly easy to get fresh shrimp. So you have to either get frozen shrimp or uh, pay a shitload of money and get fresh shrimp. And even then, it doesn't have shells on it as far as I remember. Ah, well, I'm rambling. Wick, wick, wick. The sound of a cut knife lightly hitting the cutting board. I wouldn't really describe that as a wick sound, more just a light tapping tap, 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 tap. Mm. Kaku-san's humming fills the kitchen. I mean, I can't say I, compl I can't complain about this too much because we are spending time with best girl as we ellipse. She must be immersed in cooking because she doesn't say much. As for me, I actually enjoy peeling the shrimp and keep on peeling the skin. Don't forget to devein the shrimp, please. And I mean, not talking a lot while cooking is not uncommon. I don't really talk while cooking because I usually am listening to music or podcasts. So, you know. You know, this really brings back memories. Before the incident and before I left the mansion, I played like this several times with Kohaku-san and Akia. We were young then, and we didn't even think about how we were the opposite gender. We were just in this spacious mansion, and all we knew was the continuous fun of every day. We played around so much that we forgot all the things that bothered us before. Were, maybe, maybe, in order to forget the, the bothersome past, we tried to pass our days with as much fun as possible. Shiki-sama, you really have taken a liking to peeling those shrimp, haven't you? Eh, eh No, not really. Why do you ask? Just, you know, repetitive over and over and over. It's easy to lose yourself in, even if you're not enjoying it, you can just lose yourself in thought because it's just repetitive, simple motions. And because you look like you were having so much fun. You know, he's sweet chan, her eyebrows would be so scrunched up by the time she gets done. Really? I'm surprised. She looks like the type that would do it without complaint. Yeah, for some reason, he sweet chan is poor at cooking. She is really great at cleaning and arranging things. Oh? I seem to have heard something like that before. Yeah, just now actually, and... From Hisui. 
Well, come to think of it, you and Hisui are different in your own ways. Mahaku-san, you were always cheerful while Hisui stayed in the mansion back then. Oh, did I look that cheerful? I thought I was always watching you all, though. Yeah, I remember. You would always run around with us, but you would tell us to stop doing dangerous things and look out for us. Ah, I really do remember. Playing tag in the courtyard of the mansion. Trying as hard as we could to catch the old man's carp in the pond. Hey, remember that time, the time where we left the mansion from the gate, right? We didn't know the way to get back, and you ended up calling the mansion on one of the ser and one of the servants had to come pick us up. Yes, and after Makihisa Summer really did yell at you. Everyone was playing with you, but somehow you ended up being the only one. Shiki-san, no matter how much you get yelled at, you always said it was your own fault. Oh, it is so nostalgic. We did so many things, but in the end, you always saved Akiya-sama and me from getting in trouble. She giggles as she speaks aloud. What's this? Talking about old times, I really feel like I have returned now. That's right. I really don't have too many memories of this mansion, but talking about old times honestly makes me feel nostalgic. But. My memories just aren't happy ones. But I did treat Hisui poorly. That girl who was always in the corner of my heart. In the end, I was never able to have a true conversation with that girl by the window. That girl, she was always watching us from the window. Always, it struck me. That lonely face looking down, I always thought it would be great if she could come out and play. But still, before I left the mansion, she gave me that one parting gift. That's right. She was always shy, even back then, so I never knew what she was thinking. I always thought if he switched and was happy, it wouldn't matter what happened to me. Oh, Gohaku-san, you really are a good older sister. I'm feeling happy, so I give an answer like that. Huh. All of a sudden, with a short sound, Akiya-san lifts her hand. I can see she cut her finger with the kitchen knife. Kahaku-san, your finger? Eh? Huh? After I say that, she seems to have realized she cut her finger. Huh, that's true. That's true? Hey, Kohaku-san. I don't believe this. That's a strange look you've got on your face there, Kohaku. Even I could see that the cut is really deep, but Kohaku-san is still slow-paced. How embarrassing. I'm supposed to be such a good chef. <laughs> I, I say, you say that, but I've cut my finger plenty of times, although usually it's while cutting... Uh, uh, not paying attention while mincing garlic, or not mincing, slicing garlic, or uh, more often than not, bell peppers, actually. I've cut my finger thumb quite a few times on bell peppers. <laughs> um, you know, well, it's not, it's, it happens. Even to the best chefs, they cut themselves, and I am not the best chef. I am far from it, but I like cooking, and I'm, I'm good enough. Kahaku-san gives her normal laugh. This is no laughing matter. We have to take care of it right away. It's fine. It isn't life-threatening or anything. But we can't just leave it alone. Jeez, cutting it like that, doesn't it hurt? No, not at all. If I think it doesn't hurt, then it won't hurt. If I think this isn't my finger and that it's just the finger of some doll, then I won't feel pain, right? That's, uh... Strange statement. Um, like I get the cutting your thumb, especially with a kitchen knife that are usually pretty sharp, doesn't really hurt immediately. But that's a hell of a statement. Uh, if you think it's just not your finger and the finger of some doll, you won't feel any pain. 
That's, uh, that should be some warning signs going off in your head there, Shiki. What? With a smile, Kohaku-san says something pretty outlandish. Well, I'm sure if you think of it that way, it won't hurt as much, but you can't get rid of it at all. Look, let's just get it taken care of. I'm a little weak when it comes to blood, so if I ain't have any, an anemic fit right here, it'll be your fault, Kohaku-san. I see, then I should take care of it right away. Well then, Shiki-san, excuse me for a moment. The whole time, her smile never cracks, and giving me a bow with her head, she leaves the kitchen. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... We will go to the... Yeah. It's like a scene later, so it's not that much of a difference, but... But, 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 but... Ass. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I can't think of a good segue. Oh, I never do anyway. That's not abnormal. That's that's usual. Uh, but this is where I'm going to end off this episode. Next time, we experience the party proper and have one of the scenes it, it's either next time or the time after. I think it'll be next time. We will be watching one of the scenes that unlike most of the scenes in this visual novel really stuck with me and is one of the scenes in Hisui's route, apart from her endings, that stuck with me. And still, even now, I think about that scene, when I think about this, as one of my favorites. It is not my favorite scene, which is a scene of Kohaku's route, and is a pretty common favorite, but man, I absolutely love, I think it is, I think it, I know it's not this scene, it's, I think it is not, because there's this scene, and then there's, I think, a scene after and then that scene. But I think the scene that's in between is short. But I'm rambling. I'm, God, I'm just really looking forward to it. So next time, hopefully, one of my favorite scenes in the visual novel. And, well, one of my favorite scenes in literature that I've read within the past few years. Which isn't a lot, to be fair. I need to read more. But still, I absolutely love the scene. And I'm rambling. Anyway. I hope to see you all next time.